Welcome back, my name is Matthew Conlon. Uh, this is my channel where I talk about my hobbies, including stuff like comics, video games, anime, RPGs. Right now we're talking about comics. If you saw the title, it's probably something like Superman. It's not just glasses. So, Superman has a long and storied history. I think he's something like 80 years old now, uh, from publication beginning to present. And in all of that time, I have never once seen a good justification for why Superman, unrecognizable nobody Clark Kent. Now, there's a lot of uh, hand-wavy explanations that people see what they want to see. And no one expects the goofy Clark Kent persona to actually be Superman. So they just sort of ignore it. I would almost swear in the 90s there was something about Superman learning a psychic fighting style and his uh, ability to not be recognized was somehow related to Kryptonian mind powers. 90s was a crazy time. What I'm here to tell you today is that I have what is, in my personal headcanon, what I think is a satisfactory reason why people don't realize that Clark Kent is Superman. Here it is. Superman's super strong, right? He's also known to be super dexterous, capable of extraordinarily fine motor control. I think in one of the animated features where he's fighting uh, Manchester Black, he uses his heat vision to sear out the part of Manchester Black's brain that gives him his psychic powers, and in another one, one of his clones uses his heat vision to sear out the part of his brain that had a bomb in it that Lex Luthor was hypothetically gonna use to control that clone. So Superman has a lot of precision. Face full of muscles for expression. I think Superman uses a combination of his super strength and endurance to carefully sort of tense up different parts of his face so he squints a little bit he curls his brow in a little bit widens his mouth a little bit does a whole bunch of stuff to give him a sort of just what would be for us a sort of generic expression but for him can be exaggerated into just giving him one of those my wife calls it steak face uh, she reserves that for gentlemen who are not particularly attractive not particularly unattractive and that's what he does. Clark Kent might be a fairly good looking guy underneath the glasses and the goofiness, but when he's getting ready to go out and be Superman, he's just sort of uh, giving himself a sort of uh, kind of look. And that's not something that's gonna be clearly communicated in the comics. Alternatively, if you prefer the Superman is the character, Clark Kent is the suit he wears, uh, he does that for Clark Kent. He runs around being Kal-El, kal -El, and uh, when it's time to put the glasses on, he puts on the glasses and then kind of, you know, gives himself a look so that he just kind of looks kind of like any other dude. And uh, that's it. I would think seeing that in real life would be super creepy, so I know we'll never see it in a movie. Uh, Henry Cavill's digital lip notwithstanding. Uh, that's what I think. Uh, it explains why highly intelligent, well-respected inv individuals vaunted for their ability to suss out information and notice details like Bruce Wayne and Lois Lane didn't immediately put two and two together when they met Clark after seeing Superman. That's it. Thanks so much for your time. I'll see you back here next time, hopefully. If you liked what you saw, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you back here next time. Don't forget to hit the bell if you want to see more videos like this sort of thing. Uh, have a great day.